Hey there, it's Kat and this is Brews and Reviews. In today's video we're going to go through all the books that I read in November. Now after October's whopping 27 book reading thing that I did, I fell into a large reading slump. In November I actually read the fewest books that I've read all year in a month and I wasn't even doing NaNoWriMo. What was it doing? I don't know, it was just very very busy. There were a lot of things going on, I got sick, there was just so many excuses coming out of my mouth and I just had such a reading slump. So I don't have very many books to talk to you guys about in terms of what I would normally do, especially in terms of last month, but I still did some reading so I'm still here to talk about it and we're going to wrap up the month. So let's get into it. The first book that I read this month was a manga called Dead Tube. It was free, I think it was on Kindle Unlimited and I just tried to pick up some more manga from the gra graphic with it readathon and I was like oh free free yes I like things that are free. Turns out that one was a bit of a mistake. So I ignored like the look of the cover because I was like mm, this looks a bit odd because what I had searched for was like death game manga and another one I picked up was the King's Game which I know a little bit more about and thought I would like more. I don't know why I read this one and not that one um but I did. So now we've got to talk about it and uh, it's kind of like YouTube but it's like a competition and whoever gets the most views wins I think a lot of money and then whoever gets the least amount of views has to pay for all of the things that happened in everybody else's videos so that includes like crimes so like murder and stuff the person who had the lowest views gets charged for murder now the premise of that sounds like something that is quite interesting to me if done in the right way and I don't think that this was. I feel like it was a bit ridiculous and explicit and I just didn't need it. It just didn't have enough character or substance to work and I just, no thank you. It was 2 out of 5 stars. Looking back on it, not really sure why I gave it 2 out of 5 stars instead of 1 out of 5 stars but I did so. The next book that I read is Something is Killing the Children volume 3. So I really enjoyed this one but I didn't quite enjoy it as much as the first two volumes and I wonder partly if that is because I'd left such a gap between the first two which I read back to back and this one. There was about a two week gap in that and I feel like if you decide to read this series then you should read the first three very close together because they are one continuous storyline and at the end of this book I feel like you could almost have a break from it, like you could have a longer period of time because it's sort of moving on to a different thing. Now if you don't know this series it is about monsters killing the children that the adults can't see. It's a horror graphic novel set and I just really enjoyed it. I like this series very much and I can't wait to read more of it. Next up I read Priceless by Miranda Silver. This was a Kindle Unlimited book and I actually bought it as a physical copy because I enjoyed it so much and I don't know if I just enjoyed it because I was in a reading slump and I was kind of like really drawn to like romance and this sort of thing. It's just really hitting the right spot in my brain at the moment for like easiness. I don't know but I enjoyed this book a lot. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars which again is a thing that I don't usually do for this sort of darker romancey type thing. It's not really a dark romance thing. There are some things in it that are very uh, explicit shall we say. If you read the premise for this book you will know what I mean when I say that. I do think that there was a good mix of smut and story in this one and it didn't just feel like porn without plot. It felt like the characters were growing and developing and you could sort of understand how they ended up in the positions that they were in and sort of understand how they developed as the story went on and I really really liked the main pair in this and I just really enjoyed it and I didn't want to put it down so I ended up buying it. I feel like that is a glowing review from me because I don't buy Kindle Unlimited books very often at all. Especially not when the paperback is like £10. I don't usually do it unless I know that I'm going to want to reread the book and I definitely going to want to reread this one. The next book I read was a graphic novel called The Savage Shores. Now this is a sort of vampire story where a European vampire gets banished to India. And there are other more interesting creatures that live in India and I don't really want to go into it too much because I went into this not knowing very much about it. But I really love the setting and I love the character Roshan. I feel like the most interesting part of this book for me was when the Eastern and the Western sort of 
met each other. I thought that, that was that was very cool. And I, I love the setting. And if you want a very different type of vampire book, then this is a really good one to check out. Oh, I gave that one three out of five stars as well. So the next book I read was The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Now you know what I said about being in the mood for romance? Yeah, I gave this one five out of five stars and I fucking loved it. It was great. This is a fake dating, gr grumpy sunshine, character dynamic romance book that I just really enjoyed. The premise of this book is that Olive has told her friend that she's got a date so that her friend will date her ex-boyfriend um, because they have a real connection and she feels guilty about not dating her ex. So Olive is like, no, no, I've got a boyfriend. And then she gets herself into a position where she ends up kissing a professor called Adam, who is a grumpy and most people hate him and there's a whole lot of things going on. And then they fake date and I loved it. <laughs> it was so good. I don't know, it just makes me really happy thinking about this book. It gave me all the positive feels and I can't recommend it enough. I finished this book and immediately wanted to read it again. It was buddy reading this with Kayla from Cracking to a Good Book. She felt the same way. So I just feel like if you are interested in this premise, then you should definitely pick this up. The next book I read this month was Ruthless Demon King by Nikki Cristo. This is a Kindle Unlimited book. Uh, it was supposed to be like a dark romance. I follow the author on TikTok and I was like, okay, Sounds all right. There was like a short excerpt that she posted on it as a TikTok video and I thought, oh, right, sounds interesting, I'll pick it up. Essentially it was supposed to be like um, if the villain sort of won and like a demon king comes to earth and pretty much takes over and then this one girl is like resistant to him and so it goes from there. I thought it was gonna be a bit better than it was but I did enjoy it for the most part. It was fun and I did like the main character and the situation. It just didn't quite have enough for me to sort of take it over the edge. It kind of promised that it was gonna be like a villain romance but I didn't really feel like the villain was like the really a villain because he, he wasn't that much of a villain. I mean he like murdered some people in some gruesome ways but also, they probably deserved it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll give that one four out of five stars. So the next book I read was The Deal by Elle Kennedy. This is another, another romance book. I just can't stop right now. You just can't stop me. This is another fake dating book. Definitely picked it up because I was like, oh, the love hypothesis, fake dating. And I did it as a buddy read with Kayla from Crack Into A Good Book. We were both in the mood for it and we just went, let's just read it. It was also free. I'm not sure if it's still free on Kindle at the moment, but it, it was free, so we picked it up. And I'm not gonna lie, it started off a little bit rocky because it had some moments where the main guy character, Garrett, he was trying to badger the main love interest, Hannah, into tutoring him, and they sort of come up with a deal that's gonna work out for them. If he pretends to date her, then she can get this other guy that she's interested in. Now I do have to mention there is talk about rape. Hannah is a rape survivor. There is also domestic abuse and child abuse that's discussed. Aside from those things, um, some of it was really fun and it ended up being all right. I gave it three out of five stars and I liked it by the end. I just feel like it took a long time to get there. And the last book that I read in November was City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is the first Victoria Schwab book that I have ever read and I was a little bit disappointed. Now I reserve the right to judge the Schwab which is the name that she goes by when she writes adult books. I will judge the adult books separately because I know that this is kind of middle grade and I think that's partly where my problems came into it. I predominantly do not read middle grade. It's not really for me at all. So I knew I was pushing it a little bit when I was reading this and I just feel like it would have been way cooler if it was adult but I guess kids have to have some cool things and they just could have been made cooler if they you know had actual blood and death and stuff but okay. But I did like the premise and the ghosts and I, I thought that there were some really cool things about it but it just didn't really go as far as I wanted it to and I think that is, that's on me rather than the book. I'm not the target audience for this book and I know it so that's on me. Also I think there were way too many Harry Potter references in this. I just don't want to keep hearing about it after all the things that that author did. So I know this book came out in 2018 so I'm not holding it against the book it's just it did take me out of it every single time there was a reference to it, I was like, ugh, please stop. So 
uh, yeah, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. And I am interested in continuing with the series, I just don't feel like the rating's gonna get any higher because I feel like I know what to expect with this and it's just gonna be the same. So there we have it, those are the books that I read in November, nowhere near as many as I did the previous month and also many romances, that's obviously where my reading slump brain decided to let me go this month and I'll just be grateful that I read any books at all really because it could have been far worse. And if you like this video please leave a like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!